It feels like planes, trains, and automobiles every day seeking out the coolest gyms in the world. So I'm happy to wind up in Miami, home of amazing beaches, fantastic Cuban food, and you know, I bet there's a great gym around here somewhere. I'm Big Ron Partlow, and this is Mutant on a Mission. Big Ron, good to What's meet up, you, What's up, brother? Man. Good to meet cheers, you too, man. Cheers, Happy you made it here. This is uh, Albert, one of the owners of Miami Iron Gym. How you doing? Thanks for having Mutant on a Mission. No, here. man, we're happy to have you guys here. So, uh, you know, I, I saw your gym on Instagram. The power of social media. Yeah, it's big. And I thought, man, <laughs> this looks like they're doing a gym. I thought, I gotta, get, I gotta get a hold of these guys and see what we can do. We're here, man, old school. Yeah, cool, yeah. man. Well, let me put my stuff away and show me around. Oh, well, let's go. Let's okay, take, cool. take a tour. Tell me about Miami Iron Gym. How well, did this come to be? Miami Iron Gym came about uh, out of necessity. Uh, basically, the old school gyms in Miami were gone. There was one that me and my uh, partner, George, uh, we used to train at for many years called Porky's down here in Miami. I've heard about Porky's back yep. in the day. Well, they were great, but the big corporate gyms, well, fitness centers yeah. showed up, bought them out, and we were dazed and confused. Where the hell are we gonna train? <laughs> Where the hell are we gonna lift heavy without anybody slowing us down? Right. So for a few weeks we were lost. Uh, so we spoke and he goes, hey, why don't we open a hardcore gym like we always spoke about? I said, all right, let's do it. We shook hands. And three months later, Miami Iron Gym came about. Well, let's have a look around the gym, man. Sure. Obviously, a lot of plate-loaded stuff. Mm -hmm. You got yes. all the hammer, old body masters. Yeah, chest, flats, inclines, plate-loaded, all the hammer strength. So, man. it leads us right over the back. We got a prone row here. This is a rare piece of equipment. Yes. It's become sort of a table here, because yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't understand what it's for. <laughs> they but hang their jackets and sit their gym bags on yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, until someone goes, hey, move that, but it's, um. It's basically a great bench for rear delts and back, and there's no cheating. And you've got some beautiful art up here. Yeah. Like, of course, you've got Arnold, Zane. I mean, and you go old school, like you said. It's not just the new yeah, guys. You it's, know, you uh, got Sergio on the wall. Yeah, you know? we, I grew up, well, as many people, the only reason, the reason I picked up a weight in the first place in my hands was of, because yep. of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Me too, me too. So that snowballs into more, so <laughs> I like old school, but we say our, our, lo our motto is respect the old school, but we embrace the new school as well. But, Dumbbells, uh, heavy iron. Yeah, pure iron, man. So That's, where'd you get all your equipment from? A lot of this equipment was from our gym that we used to go to that closed down, that was bought out. Okay. A lot of it is uh, old equipment from that gym, and a lot of it we shopped around for specific pieces. Right. So we figured it's a hardcore gym. Not everything has to match. Well, you know equipment's gonna be a big deal with me. So I walk in a gym like this and I see the old Body master stuff that isn't wrapped in plastic. It's got all the open stacks. I see the iron dumbbells. I see the old hammer stuff. I know I'm gonna have a good day. But little by little we've been, you know, painting some things here and there, but yeah. more about if it's efficient. If you have a choice, works. if you have a choice, you want it to be branded. Sure, why but, not? You know, but I, I, I totally get what you mean. I always saw gyms that if the pieces didn't match, I knew that the owner wanted that piece for a reason. Yes. I noticed you got a like a bilateral yeah. leg press, a yeah. split platform one. So it's a split, it works individual, or you link up the, the bar and it works both at the same time just like a regular leg press. Yeah, no, that's a cool piece. So, Who makes it? Legend, Legend Fitness makes this. And so we nice. got uh, the old Body Masters. Yeah. Which no. works great, and this on its own is pretty heavy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I see a lot of um, fitness centers, the people load them up. It looks very impressive. Right, right. They push them, then they'll come here and load this one up. 
and they feel it a little yeah, more yeah, than yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. So yeah. Now uh, we, I, I have this piece at, 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 at our gym, and it gets used by everybody constantly. Same here. The power yeah. lifters use it. The chicks use it. Yeah. The bodybuilders use it. Yeah. So you guys see a lot of movement out of we this. We do. This this came in about maybe five months ago. Okay. Everybody loved it. Yeah. 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 You got the pitch shark by Rome. So. This is another piece I need. <laughs> yes. Um, Takes all the weight off your off your spine, puts yeah. everything from here down. So. The belt squat. Yes. The belt so, squat. For those of you that don't know what a pitch shark is, it's a what the best belt squat you can get now. Yes. Yeah, it is. So that's a cool piece, and it looks like so. it's got a ton of use. Yeah. Three squat racks. Squat racks and a cage. You have some really spectacular art. So do you have one guy that did all the muraling in here? We did. These are uh, old school Miami uh, graffiti artists. Um, no shortage of them in Miami. No, no there's not. <laughs> but they have a company now, it's called uh, Cushy Gigs out here in Miami. And they did it all, they did it all. So this is freehand. I came up with this. They said, sure, we could do that. They did their you version. You can draw that again? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK. I'm going to have to hire you to do some sketches. Hey, I'll fly <laughs> over there, man. We'll do it. <laughs> No, it's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, fitness centers do not have this stuff. They, they don't. No. They do not have Swiss bars. They don't. They do not have trap bars. They do not have a yoke bar. They don't. We got some Texas uh, deadlift bars also in the office. Right, but you keep those locked up. Those are locked up. Uh, people ask for them, we give it to them. There's some guys who bring their personal ones and they have locks on them and yeah, caps, caps on the end. Yeah. So, uh, but they're here. If somebody needs them, they're here. That's that old school touch. It's yeah. really cool. It's really cool. Wonder down here. Now, one thing I see, I I think it's very American. I see it at all the great gyms. You know, uh, the Metro flexes and all that sort of stuff. I see the military flags. Yes, sir. And the American flag and you know the Marines and stuff like that. And that's a lot of pride, yeah. Yeah, so you're a firefighter yourself. I'm a firefighter. My partner George is a firefighter as well. I've been on for 13 years, he's been on for 25, and he's a Marine Corps veteran. So he's Marine retired from there. Veteran, and, yeah. uh, anything, military, police, fire, we support them all. So yeah, that's and we awesome. got a lot of members here who are military, fire, and police as well. Yeah, so. yeah, no, so that's fantastic. We got nothing but pride for for our country. So. Yeah, no, that's great to support those guys. I love being in gyms where there's that type of vibe, you know, it's kind of around. Yeah, it's a good atmosphere. So, yeah, it definitely is. So, I love the place. You know, I come to train. We're gonna do some chess, right? I can't wait. You got an old banged up uh, retired pro. I can't wait. To train? Okay, yeah, to well, make me look, look like crap. Oh, you got no, it. no, 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 no. He said something, he said he had a special pre-workout for me. Yeah, we're gonna have a shot of uh, Miami style pre-workout, some uh, Cuban coffee. Cuban coffee, it sounds very powerful. Yeah, a little colada. Okay, okay, maybe right. I can push some dumbbells after that. I think so. Okay, thanks. Albert from Miami Iron Gym, we're gonna train some chess. Thanks for following around. All right. This episode is brought to you by Mutant BCA 9.7, like armor for your hard-earned muscle. There must be a lot in here. I think we're ready. That's good stuff. Good? Now, I don't know if it was a placebo effect because of all the talk about the coffee. But those little cups of Cuban coffee, they packed a pretty good punch. I can see why those guys drink them. So, we had a Cuban coffee. We had the tour. We're ready to hit some chest. One thing left to do. We just had to agree on, you know, what we're all busted up on and movements we can actually do together. All right. So, we're going to start with some incline dumbbells. Let's go. Okay, let's roll them out. All about quality, no shit reps. One, two, three. Okay. Good. One, two, three. Three. Get into it. Four. Up. 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 Yep. Up. Right. Easy. There we go. Easy again. Good. The skill of energy conservation. <laughs> Very important to learn how to roll dumbbells. Oh yeah. Oh, what Save a gentleman. It. Look at this, treating me like a guest. Oh, well now it's like, have to get a million reps now. Come on now. You're wasting the energy. 
Yep. Oh my god. I got you. Oh. Come on. Mickey Mouse, let's go. Come on. Come on, two more. Two. One more, right back. One more. Come on. Let's go. One more. Everything you got. Good push. Hey, you got a great place to train here. You go, yeah. brother. Take advantage of it. Ah, oh, the technique. Energy conservation. That was good. Yes, I learned that from you. Really good move, movement. Uh, 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 there you go. You got that one. Fight through. Fight through. You had another one, and then you did the ISO squeeze for five seconds. That's what you want. Feel the stretch at the end there. That's what you want. They're ripping apart. The guy that he's, that they got working the front desk, Hector, he just came through the gym yelling, everybody rock your weights. And I thought, this, this is awesome. Every gym needs a Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drop. Yeah, quarter and 145. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, up. Uh, up. Uh, up. Uh, up. Uh, yeah, partial, uh, partial, uh, partial. Uh, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Uh, yes. Good set, man. Whew. I try to take it as a compliment that I have to turn to get in. <laughs> Just the little things in life I have to, <laughs> I have to, you know, focus on. Let's go, come on. That's you. Let's go. Come on. All the way out, squeeze all the way out. Go! Oh my. Let's go. We dropping? Yeah. All right, sing. That's in my plan. Let's go. Come on, four more. Come on. Let's go, two more. One more, all the way. Got some shorties in there. Let's go. Let's go! Uh, uh, look at that. Woo. Does it look like we're training hard? Now, I'd only been on the gym's Instagram. I'd never actually seen Albert. I didn't know who he was. But when I met him, found out he was a firefighter, I knew we were going to have a good workout because those guys go hard. Yeah, another one. 
feels completely different from any of the newer ones. You can really tell it's an older one. It seems to be on top of you more. You know how the new ones, they seem to get really easy at the yeah. bottom? You see everyone putting five plates on, yeah. and it's super easy, and then it just gets hard there. Yeah. But this is right on top of you. We just wrapped up chess, Albert and I. I want to thank uh, all the members and staff from Miami Iron. Thank Albert and George. Thank for you guys. Thank you Any so much. Time, man. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Mutant Nation, for coming by. I really appreciate it. You bet. And, and thank you, man, for bringing that show down here. Really, <laughs> really appreciate well, it. I hope you guys are happy with the final episode. We'll try to use only the best angles of you. <laughs> and uh, he'll probably purposely throw in the worst angles of me. He likes to do that. I hope so. So uh, we'll, we'll have fun with it. But uh, Mutant Nation, you guys are in the area. Drop by Miami Iron. Tell them Big Ron sent you. Tell me some Mutant on a mission. And uh, train at one of the best gyms I've been to. This is it. This is why we do this show. Come to the best gyms in the country, best gyms in the world. So Miami Iron Gym, Florida. Albert. Big Ron, we're out. See you guys, thank you. Join me for the next episode of Mutant on a Mission as I head straight from Miami to Cleveland for another amazing gym and a quick visit to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.